This here pixelated ape face, which you could quite easily screenshot right now, go ahead, honestly, just do it, is apparently worth 1.2 million US dollars. That's just one of several bonkers ideas cropping up at a new frontier in the febrile world of crypto finance. Great fortunes are being made, of course, but more intriguingly, the future of how we all experience art, play games, and even share memes is looking ripe for revolutionary change. So join us today as we voyage through the crypto looking glass and ask exactly what are NFTs. An NFT, or non-fungible token, is essentially a database record on the blockchain that refers to a unique, specific digital asset. That asset might be a song, or a gif, or as we've seen, a pixelated doodle of a chimp in a do-rag. At TechVision, we've created our very own truly one-of-a-kind NFT, but more on that at the end of the video. First, let's look at NFTs through a slightly more familiar lens. Bitcoin, like all cryptocurrencies, derives value from scarcity and the icy mathematical certitude of the blockchain. Central governments can't mess with it by printing more, and the ledger is ironclad secure. NFTs harness that same principle to offer reliable proof of origin and ownership as they pertain to artistic assets. The non-fungible token isn't a work of art in itself, by the way, but it is a certification, engraved forever on the blockchain, providing priceless proof of provenance and authenticity. Baffled yet? Let's look at some more weird examples, like our blocky ape buddy back there that some dude actually paid $1.2 million for just for a giggle, then delve into what it all means. OK, remember Neancat, the adorable viral Moggy and Pop-Tart hybrid who sailed out of the stars and into our hearts back in those carefree innocent days of 2011. Creator Chris Torres marked its 10th anniversary with a remastered edition of the classic GIF that just sold, via the magic of NFTs, for the frankly ludicrous sum of 300 Ethereum coins. That's about $590,000 in real money, or if you like, a three-bedroom house in Los Angeles. I'm very surprised with the success, Torres told Nasdaq, reasonably enough, but I think I'm most glad knowing that I've basically opened the door to a whole new meme economy. It isn't only daft animal pictures making big bucks in this brave new world of NFTs. Short video clips of bars Basketball games are also doing a lively trade. One depicting LeBron James dunking on rival Nemanja Bialica recently changed hands for a whopping $208,000. NBA Top Shot, the brand under which the league sells such moments through NFTs, is a bit like that old school hobby for collecting sports cards, but with video. Investors are already splurging over $100 million a week on these moments. Jesse Schwartz, the high roller behind that 208k LeBron clip purchase, makes a point of mentioning this lavish buy in his bio Twitter, suggesting he did it at least partly for the flex or show-off value. We really can't emphasize enough that these clips are widely available completely for free on YouTube. So the growing popularity of NFTs, remember, that's the database entry on the blockchain proving the buyer owns this given dunk or that particular cat meme, is arguably a kind of conspicuous consumption, akin to Lamborghinis and Hennessy, only without any Lamborghinis or Hennessy. Still, there are positives. NBA Top Shot was created by forward-thinking software house Dapper Labs. It works on a revenue-sharing basis with the NBA and the Players Association. This blueprint is seen as a guide to the future, with fans, essentially investors now, taking on the role of old-school patrons, supporting their heroes directly. Dallas Mavericks owner and celebrity billionaire Mark Cuban reckons Top Shot could be one of the NBA's main revenue sources over the next few years. And by the way, it isn't just spectacular dunks and deft layups doing a roaring trade on NBA Top Shots. One excitable fan just paid $100,000 for a clip of New Orleans Pelicans power forward Zion Williamson merely blocking a rival player's shot. Let's take a moment ourselves to tackle the terminology. To truly understand non-fungible tokens, we probably need to explain what fungibility is. So here goes. Fungible goods are made up of discrete individual units, each of which are interchangeable and functionally indistinguishable from one another. Gold is a great example. Sweet crude oil is another. Perhaps the most instructive fungible commodity we all know and love is cash. If I give you a $20 bill and you hand me back a 10 and two fives, we're even, always. Those particular bills have no history, so even if one of the fives you slipped me was once involved in a shady second-hand car deal, or the 10 was lovingly fondled by Timothy Chalamet, they hold exactly the same value. They possess fungibility, and fungibility is the basis of their versatility. A non-fungible token is quite different. It can't be broken down. It's unique, and that uniqueness is the basis of its value. It can't straightforwardly be switched 
swapped or broken down, or at least not without diminishing its value. Like a racehorse, say, or a Michelangelo nude, it has scarcity and provenance, and these qualities add value. Sometimes a hell of a lot of value indeed. That bored-looking pixelated ape who's almost certainly worth more than your house was created, more or less, as an experimental wheeze in non-fungible tokens by American design studio Lava Lab. In 2017, 10,000 of these angular faces, so-called CryptoPunks, were created by a Lava Labs algorithm. Each was assigned a discrete NFT address on the Ethereum blockchain. Then they were given away for free to Ethereum wallet holders. Flash forward to today, and CryptoPunks' inbuilt scarcity, limited to a strict run of 10,000, plus their iconic status as early adopter crypto icons, somehow makes them valuable. Add to that the nifty detail that within their ranks are still rarer classes of CryptoPunk, including Ape, Zombie, and rarest of all, Alien, and hey presto, you get a mad secondary marketplace where faces never sell for less than $18,000 a piece nowadays. The total value of all CryptoPunk sales since the project began is already reportedly north of $100 million. You're probably wondering what's the point of forking over such vast fortunes for a third-rate monkey mugshot. Fair enough, it is insane. But maybe consider this shiny rabbit by American IRL sculptor Jeff Koons. It sold at auction for $91 million a little over a year ago. The art world has always been a little bit mad, an insanely overinflated, posh, but nonetheless grotesque exercise in flexing. Serious old-school auction house Christie's has just sold the NFT representing a work named The First 5,000 Days by digital artist Beeple for the crowd-pleasing sum of $69 million. Nice. The rise of NFTs could well represent a positive paradigm shift for artists who, like lucky old people, will earn royalties from all future resales of their work thanks to clever coding embedded in the very NFT itself. Creating fake scarcity in a world of infinite cost-free copying and pasting is a nightmare to get your head around. But if it catches on as an idea, we may enter a golden age where creators, be they digital doodlers or kings of the basketball court, get to see their great works appropriately remunerated. For instance, Grimes, Elon Musk's lady friend, just made $6 million auctioning artwork set to music. And that's nothing. EDM producer Blau just earned more than $11 million flogging music and merch using NFTs in one late February weekend alone. And sure, the ape example is ridiculous. That's almost the point of it. It's a great work of art partly because it's so dumb. But when artists start, as many already have, creating elaborate 4D creations in the coming madness of the metaverse, things will get properly interesting. In Alt World Decentraland, for instance, one player recently bought up 64 lots of virtual property, bundled them up, and sold them on for $80,000 because of prosaic considerations like location and road access. Again, all in a virtual space through the mechanism of NFTs. Another cashed-up speculator reportedly shelled out $222,000 to buy a section of Monaco Racetrack on an Ethereum-based Formula One racing game. He or she will henceforth receive 5% dividends from all future races and ticket fees. So NFTs are a way of generating scarcity and proving ownership and history of digital assets on the blockchain. Clearly some people think they're wise investments and most certainly not just a load of overhyped business. Which brings us to our very own specially minted official TechVision NFT. This original one-off photo manipulation of Elon Musk's Iron Man could be yours, and yours alone, remember that. The single NFT will be up for auction, available via the link in the description.